Hey Gemini, it's Puff, and this is your July 2021 reading. So let's get into it. I know I'm late, but I'm here. Please excuse my voice. I wear aligners now. Let's look past it. Now for Gemini, July 2021 for my Gemini. Last shuffle, July 2021 for my Gemini. All right. And if you hear any noise in the background, it's my guinea pigs. <sighs> They're a hot mess. All right. Ooh, I keep getting this for every sign. Um, number 18, follow your heart. So I feel like because it showed up right out the gate, you already know exactly. If this reading resonates, you know exactly what this card means. You already know what you want to do. You know what you need to do. It's just a matter of you doing it. Embrace enlightenment, master number 22. I just got this stuff for Libra. Ooh, I've never seen this one, though. Master number 11, embrace three worlds? What? So we got the earth, the stars, and then I'm assuming the third is the underworld. This is a very intricate card. Embrace the three worlds. This is reminding me of this saying, like there's your side, there's their side, and it's the truth. So embracing the three worlds, the three sides... Hmm. And then I'm assuming this is the horn god here. We have find the middle ground compromise, number 47. See, I was just saying that. There's your side, there's their side, and then there's the truth. And the middle ground is the truth here. Overall energy is seek a wise elder, number 29. Yeah, I can already see what this is. This is a general reading, so it could go for family, friends, love, career, whatever. All right, whatever resonates for for you. But you already know what the situation is. You want to follow your heart and you want to go after something. And it says embrace enlightenment. You already saw clarity in the situation. It's a matter of doing it. And it says embrace the three worlds, your side, their side, and the truth. And then the truth is find the middle ground, compromise. So both halves and seek a wise elder. There's someone who's either been through the situation or observed the situation. This is someone that you know will give you good advice. All right, so let's get into the tarot. For Gemini, for July 2021. Clarify this for my beautiful Geminis. And I know my channel says Puff God, but I ordered the Goddess Puff sign before I changed the name. It, it's, it's a hot mess, y'all, but it is what it is. <laughs> I might change it back. I might not. I don't know. But we have Knight of Swords. So this is someone pursuing you relentlessly or the spirit is telling you to do so. I mean, it says follow your heart. I feel like there's someone pursuing you. Even though this is an air sign, Aquarius, Sleeper, Gemini, an air sign could be pursuing you or someone with a lot of air in their chart. But I feel like this is someone pursuing you or spirit telling you to go after this. I do feel like this is an opportunity that is pursuing you relentlessly, but spirit is telling you to go after it just like that. Page of Pentacles. This is a new stable beginning. Some of you could have an earth sign child, or this is, could be a younger earth sign. I feel like this is something new, like a friendship starting. I'm feeling friendship. This is a new stable beginning, though. This is something that could turn into something very beautiful, like a new stable beginning. And it says embrace enlightenment. So you're privy to this. This new, innocent, stable, fresh offer. You already know what it is. It's a matter of going after it. And they say when you go after it, go all in. With the Knight of Swords, the Knight of Swords is all in. I mean, they're in it to win it. The Sun card, Illumination and Clarity, also Leo. So, like, and it says embrace the three worlds. You already know what it is you need to do. I mean, look at this. <clears throat> You already know that you, if you need to leave someone, you need to leave someone. If you need to go after this job, go after the job. If you need to go move to this place, you know. And then the overall energy is the Ten of Pentacles. This is going to be incredibly lucrative for you. I mean, it's going to be able to feed your children's children's children. Okay? This is immense stability here. And it's funny. She has the snake here, and I'm wearing my necklace. So definitely strong, Gemini. And I think that's like in the same fashion. Wow. Embrace the middle ground and compromise. And not compromise your integrity or anything like that. Things that you don't want to do. We're not saying that. We're saying compromise 
maybe you're comfortable where you're at and the compromise is to get out of your comfort zone. It's not comprom compromising your morals. Never do that. Compromise as in get out of your comfort zone. That's all I'm saying. Okay. And to get that Ten of Pentacles. Um, overcome that fear. Overall energy is the devil. So you may have Capricorn in your chart or someone else may. You may be dealing with someone or in a situation that is toxic, codependent, or some type of attachment here. Seek um, a wise elder. So maybe <clears throat> there is some type of fears, addictions, enslavements, and codependencies here that's keeping you stuck and trapped where you are, afraid to take this new opportunity, knowing damn well that it is right for you, and not taking it out of fear. I also see the devil as someone, as the overall energy, you're extremely hardworking, especially with the Ten of Pentacles. You are someone who is extremely hardworking, or you're seeking advice from someone who is like that. I'm seeing someone with a I keep seeing a thick beard or someone with long hair or thick hair for their age is what I'm sorry to say that I know that may be offensive for some people, but I'm just seeing luscious, luscious hair. Even the card behind it. Look at that. Someone who has just thick, luscious gray hair, gray or black hair. Could even be blonde for some. All right, clarify this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Two more shuffle. Please clarify this spirit. And one more. Yeah, definitely Leo or Capricorn you're dealing with or another air sign. Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. Clarifying the Knight of Swords is the Five of Wands. So there has definitely been some conflict or competition dealing with this person, arguing with this person about a King of Wands. Fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This could be your energy. I feel like you've been dealing with someone who tries to play games with you, compete with you. This could be a boss, father figure, friend, family member, co-worker, someone near you. Clarifying the page of pentacles is the four of swords. This new offer a friendship is very healing for you or this child yeah nine of pentacles whoever this page of pentacles is it could be someone younger than you it's just i feel like this is a new friendship or a, a child and it's very stable this person if it's a child like this is good for you embracing enlightenment this earth sign child but um i feel like it's friendship for some for a lot of you, actually, with this Nine of Pentacles. This is something, or it could be a job offer. There's some, some new offer with this Page of Pentacles. It's very healing with the Four of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles. It'll bring you um, independence, financial independence and abundance here. And if you have an earth sign child, you will have financial independence and abundance for that child, or that child will have it, regardless of you know their age. Because when I say child, I'm usually thinking of a young child, but people can have older children. <laughs> so, yeah, your child, if you're worried about your child, they are fine. Or they will make it through this situation if you're checking for them. Now, clarifying the sun card is the king of cups. So, we have the king of wands and the king of cups here. Okay. So, you may be leaving one situation and going to another. A job, a um, family, friend, lover. You could be leaving one and going to another. Embracing the three worlds and the sun card illumination king of cups. That's, um... Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, why did I forget? And then the Five of Cups, yeah. So this is someone gaining enlightenment about you. They're disappointed about how things went with you in the past. Now this could be a Leo with a lot of water in their chart or vice versa. They're seeing the middle ground with you. So this is someone realizing something about you. Now this could be multiple people. You could be dealing with someone who's very combative and oh, it's, a, it's like a competition with this person. There's no, there's more wands and swords with the person you're currently dealing with, then there is cups. It's conflict and competition with this person. And then you have someone from your past coming in and you get a friendship opportunity here from someone new. Now this past person could be offering that to you and it could be very healing 
and, and um, a good healing friendship for you because they're disappointed about how things went with you. They were only seeing their side of situations and now they're seeing all three. Whoever this King of Cups is or this Leo or this water sign, they're seeing all three sides of the situation now and they're very disappointed about how things went. They're definitely crying over you or they have cried over you. Clarifying the Ten of Pentacles is a Six of Cups. Again, someone from your past or you could have children with this person. Because I keep getting the Page of Pentacles as an Earth Sign Child, Virgo Taurus Capricorn, and then the Five of Pentacles. So if you've been feeling lack or your child has been feeling lack, or there could be someone from your past feeling that way with the Five of Pentacles, I'm feeling that as lack mentality. Someone feeling like they're not enough or they don't have enough money or both. Um, that's going to change when you find the middle ground and compromise with yourself. It doesn't have to be with another person. It's just within yourself. Six of Pentacles is equal give and take. So you expect to get a lot out of your body to work it to crap, you know, to get what you want. But you make sure you give to it as well. Like sleep, you know, showering, taking care of yourself so and eating right so that you can get the most out of it. That's what you do in relationships. And that's what you should do with the relationship with yourself. Okay, I could go on and on about that forever. But, you know, and if it's not just with yourself, this is clearly with other people with all these court cards. If you have a child that you're watching this for, they are learning that. To seek relationships, especially with them themselves and others, where there's equal give and take. You expect a lot out of a, a person, place, or thing, or yourself. So you make sure you put the right things in it. You make sure that person's giving the right things and vice versa. So I feel like um, there's someone here, whether it's you or you're watching this for someone else, they're leaving a combative situation where there's only conflict and competition and jealousy and someone's just trying to win to go towards something more healing. Whether this is a friendship, person, place, thing, or job, there's clearly someone who's seen the light as a matter of putting that in action and there's also a third party i feel like this is three types of people someone you're currently dealing with who's combative a new person and someone from your past who's trying to come back and heal things now this new person could be someone from your past but i feel like it's three different people and then there's a child who coming into some type of inheritance a lot going on but you've got the drive the devil here to get it done or this could be a capricorn seeking wisdom from a wise elder but you're going to make it work and you're going to create those equal give and take relationships or this person you're watching it for will. Things are going to work in your favor in July. You're going to be getting rid of this conflicting energy here, this combative energy here. And you're looking for more people who are here to work with you, not against you. All right, Gemini, I feel like there's so much more I want to say to you, but this supposed to be a short reading. Um, so I'm going to just leave it here. If you're interested in these beautiful crystal rings that you see here and here, um, the link is in the description box. I send you peace, blessings, and love. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, or share. Namaste.